In the inky black expanse of our universe, among the tapestry of stars, there lies a celestial body that has captured the world's imagination, Proxima b, our interstellar next-door neighbor. Recent data pouring in from the James Webb Space Telescope has thrown the world of astrobiology into a frenzy. There are signals suggesting that this exoplanet may be home to primitive life forms. There is a good chance we may not be alone in the universe after all. The JWST, our celestial sentinel, has been transmitting vivid pictures and crucial data about Proxima b, our closest exoplanetary neighbor in the Proxima Centauri system. This exoplanet, slightly larger than Earth, lies within the habitable zone, a region around a star where conditions could potentially allow the existence of liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it. But now, the telescope has delivered its most breathtaking revelation yet. The world woke up to an unprecedented announcement from NASA headquarters. We have detected unexpected chemical signatures in the atmosphere of Proxima b, consistent with life processes as we understand them. This extraordinary announcement has resulted in excitement in the scientific industry, and rightly so. If confirmed, this would be the first time humans have identified a life signature beyond our solar system. By analyzing the light passing through Proxima b's atmosphere, the JWST has been able to decode its chemical composition. Unexpected spikes in certain chemicals, including methane and oxygen, have raised the tantalizing possibility of life. The simultaneous presence of these chemicals is particularly interesting. On Earth, methane is produced by many biological processes, and it reacts readily with oxygen. Thus, for both of these chemicals to exist in the same atmosphere, there must be a continuous source, possibly life. Astrobiologist Dr. Elena Martinez, part of the team analyzing the data, remarked, We're not claiming the discovery of extraterrestrial life. Yet, but these signs are encouraging and certainly warrant further investigation. If we do confirm life on Proxima b, it's likely to be microbial, akin to bacteria on Earth. To visualize this, Imagine a world with a skyline dominated by the flares of the red dwarf Proxima Centauri, casting an eerie light over a landscape teeming with microscopic life. In Proxima B's vast seas, beneath its stormy clouds, life might be clinging to existence, replicating and evolving, as it once did on our own planet billions of years ago. But why has this discovery taken so long? Well, the conditions on Proxima B are harsh, challenging, and the exoplanet is bathed in powerful radiation from its star, which had led some scientists to believe it was uninhabitable. Now we're forced to question these assumptions. Could life be more resilient than we thought, able to endure even in such extreme conditions? Or perhaps Proxima b harbors some sort of protective mechanism we're yet to understand. Proxima b's atmosphere is thick with suspended particles, much denser than Earth's atmosphere. Is this dense atmosphere shielding life on Proxima b from its star's deadly radiation? Does this alien world hold the key to understanding the different forms life can take in the universe? The myriad questions are, for now, unanswered. The findings have also sparked a flurry of philosophical discussions. If we find life in our cosmic backyard, what does it mean for the existence of life in the rest of the universe? Are we on the cusp of answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? The anticipation is palpable as we eagerly await more data from the Webb telescope. Further study of Proxima b's atmospheric composition and potential surface observations may provide conclusive evidence in the coming months. NASA is also considering launching a probe to Proxima b, though such a mission would take decades even at the speed of our fastest spacecraft. But imagine the moment when the first data from that probe comes in, potentially confirming the existence of extraterrestrial life. As we venture further into the cosmos, discoveries like these make us question our place in the universe. We stand on the precipice of a new era in human understanding, a world where we might finally have neighbors in the cosmos. Who knows what astonishing truths await us among the stars? This historic discovery reminds us that we are part of a universe vast beyond our comprehension. As we gaze into the night sky, we do so with a newfound sense of wonder, realizing that life may be teeming on a distant exoplanet under the glow of another sun. The breakthrough came in the quiet confines of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. 
In the hushed laboratories, an array of screens displayed data streamed in from the depths of space. That night, as astronomers pored over the latest set of spectral readings from Proxima b, their hearts raced. There it was, an unmissable spike in methane and oxygen. Dr. Robert Lin, a senior scientist on the team, knew they were onto something big. We'd been watching Proxima b for a long time, he recounts, but this, this was the kind of signal we'd only dreamed of. This discovery's significance hinges on the chemistry of life as we understand it. Oxygen and methane can both be produced by geological activity, but the simultaneous and substantial presence of these gases in Proxima b's atmosphere hints at a tantalizing possibility. On Earth, methane is often produced by biological processes, and it reacts readily with oxygen, meaning both gases would not usually coexist for a long time, unless there's a continuous source. To find these two gases in significant balance levels, that's what's so exciting, Dr. Lin adds. Dr. Lin's team spent days meticulously verifying their results before alerting NASA's upper echelons. The news electrified the scientific community. Even the experts who had long dismissed Proxima b as a dead planet began reconsidering their stance. Dr. Elena Martinez, a leading astrobiologist, comments, It's like finding a message in a bottle from a sea we never knew existed. It's a sign, a clue, that Proxima b could be alive in a way we understand. But how could life survive on Proxima b, a world constantly bombarded by the harsh radiation of its parent star? There are theories. Perhaps these organisms have adapted to utilize the very radiation we assumed would prohibit life, posits Dr. Felix Kramer, a biophysicist specializing in extremophiles, organisms that thrive under extreme conditions. On Earth, we have creatures living near hydrothermal vents in complete darkness, so why not on Proxima b? The discovery has sparked a maelstrom of debate and speculation, ranging from the scientific to the philosophical. If life exists on Proxima b, muses Dr. Martinez, it opens the door to the possibility that life is not a fluke, but an intrinsic part of the universe. It could mean that life, in various forms, is common in the cosmos. It's not just the scientific community that's abuzz. This news has permeated every corner of human society, inspiring countless conversations and theories about our place in the universe and the nature of life itself. This discovery is a cosmic mirror, reflecting back our age-old existential questions in a stark, new light. As we peer into this mirror, we see ourselves not as solitary explorers, but potential participants in a universal symphony of life. The research team isn't stopping here. While the JWST continues its remote sensing of Proxima b, plans are being discussed for an ambitious mission. We're considering a probe to Proxima b, shares NASA Administrator Rebecca Howell. It's a mammoth task. With our current propulsion technology, it would be a journey of decades. But the potential payoff to confirm the existence of extraterrestrial life would be priceless. NASA scientists are already designing the proposed probe. Equipped with a suite of instruments, it would study Proxima b's atmosphere up close, land on the planet's surface, and perhaps even take samples. The probe could also carry cameras to capture the first close-up images of an exoplanet an achievement that would be as groundbreaking as the first pictures of Mars from the Viking landers. As we stand on the brink of this new era, we ponder our insignificance and significance simultaneously. We're a tiny blue dot in an unfathomably vast universe, yet we are the ones reaching out, looking for kinship in the cosmos, striving to understand and connect. The tale of Proxima b is far from over. It's a story of potential and possibility, a story of humanity's relentless quest to explore and understand. It's a story written in the light of distant stars, on the canvas of the universe, and it's a story we're all a part of. As the data streams in, the narrative will unfold, taking us deeper into the heart of the cosmos, into the mystery of life itself. We're rewriting the story of life, Dr. Martinez notes, not just on Earth, but across the universe. Are we alone? That question echoes louder than ever. As we gaze upon the distant flicker of Proxima Centauri, our perception of the cosmos is changing. We are, perhaps, not solitary, but part of a grand cosmic narrative, bound by the thread of life that might weave its way through the vast tapestry of the universe. 
What other astonishing secrets lie hidden in the depths of space, waiting for us to uncover? Only time will tell.